So you're moving into a new place in Boston. You've scoured all the rental websites, weeded out all the outdated listings that have already been filled, some just seconds after they were posted. You took time off to see showing after showing, even one of those $3,000 for a studio apartment in the seaport just for a lark. And now, after months of searching, you've finally found a place. You did all the work. You didn't use a real estate broker to help you look, but you still have to pay a broker's fee? For those fortunate enough not to know, on top of first month's rent, last month's rent, and the cost of another month for a security deposit, most renters in and around Boston are forced to fork over yet another month's rent to a broker who's allegedly helping the building's owner find a new tenant, even if they didn't help. For the average Boston renter, that's more than 9000 bucks, all before you unpack a single box just compounds the financial burden for people already struggling to keep up with one of the most expensive housing markets in the country. Many, many families in the community are being pushed out of the city because they can afford the rent. The rents in Lynn are just out of control. I mean, they're, they're going up two, three, four hundred dollars a month. Massachusetts rents are the third highest in the U.S., behind only Hawaii and California, according to the National Low-Income Housing Coalition. We even beat out New York, where the state government there is taking action on broker's fees, updating an existing renter's protection law last week to effectively ban landlords from passing on the fee to their tenants. Realtor organizations quickly sued, and a judge agreed to suspend the new rule while the case continues. But supporters argue the ban isn't about sticking it to brokers. It's about finally making landlords pay for the brokers who are working for them in the first place. And even while it's on hold, the concept of New York's ban is already making its way across the country, including right here. Mayor Marty Walsh is putting together a working group to study brokers' fees, saying this is another tool we're putting forward to tackle the underlying challenges of housing affordability in Boston. And on Beacon Hill, some state lawmakers are hoping to give communities the power to decide for themselves with a bill on Beacon Hill to let individual cities and towns set their own rules to protect tenants. We're facing an affordable housing emergency. Our bill is all about putting tools into the hands of municipalities and letting them figure out what sorts of tenant protections or rent regulations would make sense for them. The bill would also let cities and towns make up their own minds on even bigger housing issues like rent control, something Somerville Mayor Joe Curtitoni says is crucial to build communities that not just the very wealthy can afford. Too many people are being driven from our communities. Cities need to take the lead on this issue. Let's send Beacon Hill the clear message that we are ready, willing, and able to act because the very fabric of our communities is on the line. Mr. Mayor, I and the renters of Massachusetts could not agree more.